Saturday, the Golden Hurricane looking for their second straight win in the American Athletic Conference playing USF in Tampa. All the details next on the Philip Montgomery Show. Montgomery Show, brought to you by St. Francis Health System, by River Spirit Casino, by Pepsi. Now your host, Bruce Howard. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to the Philip Montgomery Show. I'm Bruce Howard, joining you, of course, from the sunny climes of Tampa, Florida, the Golden Hurricane taking on USF on Saturday, and what a big win it was. A come-from-behind victory, 32-31 over the Bulls. We'll find out how Tulsa did it in a moment as we'll rejoin on the Philip Montgomery Show coming up next. American. This one's for every sports fan who just spent the entire game explaining to someone the entire game. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. The mission of St. Francis Health System to extend the presence and healing ministry of Christ means not only being there for the health care needs of individuals, but also making a positive impact in the communities we serve. Offering support through thousands of jobs and through causes that unite us and promote health and wellness for all. We show our gratitude for the opportunity to serve by living our mission every day. St. Francis Health System. Healthcare for life. Cheers to a big win when you play Oktoberfest of Cash at River Spirit Casino Resort. Get your fill of fun and overflowing cash giveaways. A total of $25,000 every Saturday. Earn entries daily and you could be one of nine to tap into the winnings. Up to $10,000 each week. So raise your glass to the best fall ever and fill it with an Oktoberfest of Cash only at River Spirit Casino Resort. Burgers, better with Pepsi. <sighs> the fifth all-time meeting between TU and South Florida with the Golden Hurricane trailing the all-time series 3-1, but Tulsa had won here at Raymond James Stadium a year ago, 42-13. So how do you get victory number two? Well, let's find out as we take a look at the lead-up of the game and then first half highlights, my broadcast partner Rick Corey and head coach Philip Montgomery. Gentlemen. All right, thanks, Bruce. All right, Coach, coming here to South Florida on the road is never easy. It's kind of a longer trip, and they don't know who they are yet because of who they've lost to. Look at them on film. What did you see? I saw a really talented football team, a team that can just every week was getting better and better. And, you, again, you look at their schedule. They had a tough, tough schedule rolling into us. You know, they played NC State. They played Florida, played Florida A&M. Then they go to BYU, go to SMU. I mean, all of those teams are really churning out right now. And so... Uh, you saw them taking steps, getting better each and every week, coming back home off of a bye week. You know they were going to get healthy. We knew we were going to get their best shot. But you're coming off the win against Memphis. Yeah. Your practice week leading up, what was it like? It was good. You know, it really was. I mean, we had a really good week going into Memphis from the standpoint of just effort, attitude, details, guys getting locked in, getting back to some fundamental things. Uh, really liked the way we came out and played in that game as far as just our effort. Uh, but needed to have another week like that, and I thought we did. Now, still pretty banged up. That being said, I thought our guys worked hard, knowing that we got an early kick here, a little bit, a little bit warmer than it, what it is back home. I'm thinking it was about 88 or 90 degrees today with the humidity up there pretty high. 
but I thought our guys just battled through. Remained, remained very hydrated. You're going to see a bit of a slow first quarter, but an offensive explosion in quarter number two. Here's the first half highlights, Tulsa and USF. Well, now it's third and nine from the Tulsa 28-yard line. No score here early, first drive of the game. McLean out of the shotgun, has the snap and drops straight back. Has time, waits, still waiting, now rushes to the right. He's running, he's at the 30, he gets caught from behind. He dives forward to the 26, and a good play there by Devin Lamp, 44-yarder. The snap is back, the ball is down, here's the kick. It's on the way, has plenty of distance, and it is good. And so South Florida scores on their first possession there. It's first down and 10 at Tulsa's 25. He turns. Drops back to pass, throws left side. It's complete to Santana, and Santana lunges forward. Forward 10 Tulsa at their 41-yard line, trailing 3 nothing here early. Here's a cutback, handoff, left side. It goes to Brooks, 45-50, 45, down to the 40-yard line. Wonderful reading of the situation. First and 10 at the 40-yard line, and a fake handoff rolling right. Bryn, he throws it short, caught by Ethan Hall out in the flat right side, and he is dumped at the 33-yard line. A good underneath tackle by Evans. Out of the shotgun, Bryn. It is first and 10 at the 30. A quick throw right side, caught right boundary. Crawford steps out of bounds at the 24, so that's a gain of six. 22-yard attempt for Zach Long. Snap is back, ball down. Here's the kick on the way, and it is good. And so TU has tied the game at three. Third down and nine from the Tulsa 25-yard line. McLean out of the shotgun. The tight end goes in motion from right to left. There are two receivers near side right. McLean awaits the snap, arms outstretched, has the snap, drops back to pass, looking to the right. Now he looks to run, and he's tripped up and dropped at the 27-yard line. And this is another 44-yard field goal attempt. Straight on, a little bit right to left to give South Florida the lead. High snap, and now they're gonna fake it, and they throw it out to the right side, and wide open is the kicker, and he catches it, Schrader catches it, but then he's knocked down on the far boundary by Jace Oliver. So out of the shotgun, Bryn, on first down and 10 from their 20-yard line. Watkins in the game as the running back, and he gets the handoff off the left side, and bottled up and stopped for no gain, and he fumbled the football, and it is a fumble for USF. They come up with the football, it's their ball. Greer comes up with a fumble recovery. Right. Here's the snap, fake handoff. Back to pass goes the quarterback, McLean. McLean is hit in the backfield and is dropped at the 23-yard line. And now it looks like they'll go Wildcat with Mangum, who has nine rushing touchdowns on the year. They snap it to Mangum off the right side, touchdown USF. Yeah. Bryn claps his hands, awaits the snap, has the snap and drops back to pass. Has time, steps up, throws over the middle, and it is intercepted at the 15-yard line. Out of the shotgun, McLean operates. Three-man front for Tulsa. Here's the snap. He fakes a handoff, now rolling out to the left, rolling out, and he gets hit in the backfield and then flips the ball after he was getting tackled. Are they going to say There's he was no down? Intentional grounding. There was a receiver in the area. Second and 10 from the 15 for the quarterback, McLean. Out of the shotgun. Tulsa trailing 10 to three, fake handoff looking to the right. Here comes a big rush and he rolls to the left and flips it downfield way over the head of the intended receiver. Tulsa massing 10 guys at the line of scrimmage. Now they drop off and a straight on punt, wobbly spiral. And Benjamin takes it at the 47, straight up the middle of the 50, the 45 and down to the 42 yard line. That was a good solid return to go. First and 10 Tulsa at the 43 and Prince has the handoff off the left side. He eludes one man, far boundary 40, 35 up, tiptoeing the sideline to the 30. First and 10 at the USF 30, TU trails 10 to three. Quick pass left side, Santana shakes the tackler, left boundary 20, 15 down to the 12. TU down by seven, out of the shotgun, Bryn has the snap, hands it off and it's Prince up the middle. He breaks a tackle at the five, surging toward the goal line, and he dives to the one. In one yard line, Bryn has the snap, and the handoff, Prince off the right side, barges in for a touchdown. Golden Hurricane taking advantage of the field position, and they score with Prince off the right side, hammering in from the one yard line. It's 10 to nine. We'll see the rest of the way. Tyler Tipton will kick it off for the Golden Hurricane, and he hits a line drive kick, and it is fairly deep, a yard deep in the end zone, and it will be brought out by Petit. Petit off the right side has a huge hole. 25, 30, 35, 40. He may go. 45, 50, 40, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, USF. 
third down and 10 from the 41. A high snap, he handles it and drops back to pass. Steps up, throws, left side, left, intercepted. It's picked off by Greer, right side, 50, 45, 40, center of the field, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. It's a pick six for Greer. Approaching from left to right, and here's the kick. It's a high, short pooch kick and is taken at the 15-yard line and straight up the left side and fumbling the football. It is loose. The ball was fumbled. It was fumbled by Jimmy Horn as he brought it up the left sideline. TU has recovered the football on a short kick, and it's Wrangle coming up for TU. Out of the shotgun, Bryn has the snap. Fake handoff back to pass. Blitz coming. He throws high over the middle, and it is Crawford. Catches it. Touchdown, Tulsa. There's a flag down. It's a 37-yard touchdown toss by Bryn to Crawford. The flag might be roughing the passer, so we'll check it. But it's a touchdown for the Golden Hurricane. On. Snap back, the ball is down. Here's the kick on the way, and it is good. So that late in the second quarter touchdown moves Tulsa a little bit closer. TU trails 24-20 at halftime. We'll talk halftime adjustments and get you to second half highlights next on the Philip Montgomery Show. American. American. This one's for every sports fan who just who just spent entire time game explaining to someone the entire game. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. The mission of St. Francis Health System to extend the presence and healing ministry of Christ means not only being there for the health care needs of individuals, but also making a positive impact in the communities we serve. Offering support through thousands of jobs and through causes that unite us and promote health and wellness for all. We show our gratitude for the opportunity to serve by living our mission every day. St. Francis Health System. Healthcare for life. Burgers, better with Pepsi. <sighs> Cheers to a big win when you play Oktoberfest of Cash at River Spirit Casino Resort. Get your fill of fun and overflowing cash giveaways. A total of $25,000 every Saturday. Earn entries daily and you could be one of nine to tap into the winnings. Up to $10,000 each week. So raise your glass to the best fall ever and fill it with an Oktoberfest of Cash only at River Spirit Casino Resort. At halftime, TU is down 24-20 after kind of a wild second quarter of play. Now let's talk adjustments and get you to the second half highlights. Here's Rick Corey and, of course, the head coach of the Golden Hurricane, Philip Montgomery. All right, Coach, at the half, you guys have just made a really nice rally, and you come back, you get the ball to start the second half. Got to be a lot of momentum going in the locker room. Well, there was. I mean, obviously the big touchdown right there to Sam was a huge play in that. You know, the second quarter was just a roller coaster of emotion. Um, but I thought our guys just stayed locked in, stayed driven about what we had to do. I thought offensively we moved the ball really well in between the 20s, just needed to take care of it a little bit better. That play right before half, being able to, to get that touchdown, big, big momentum swing for us. And they did a lot of things differently for you guys. Yeah. They, they dropped a lot of bodies. They moved people around, did some of that offensively as well. So I, I got to think halftime adjustment is pretty key today. Yeah, it really was. I mean, you look at what they did defensively, a lot of odd, a lot of even, back and forth from that, changing who's in coverage, who's dropping, where they were dropping to. Uh, a lot of different looks right there. Glenn Spencer did a great job of scheming and, and working at it. You look at them offensively, just in what they put out there. Uh, you know, a lot of misdirection to it, putting the quarterback in some situations to allow him to be athletic and go make yards, try to stress our defense in two opposite directions. And then, I, you know, he just buys time with his yeah. feet and, and, and finds receivers. So, a uh, tough matchup, but I thought, you know, again, our guys just stayed locked in. It's a finger biter, nail biter, and edge of your seat. Here's the second half highlights of Tulsa and the Bulls. 
a disputable play. And instead, they let him hand it, uh, fake the handoff, and now up the middle for a touchdown goes Timmy McLean. On the read option, McLean takes it for nine yards for a score, and USF is up their lead to 30 to 20. Prince standing next to Davis Brin on second and 10 from the one yard line. They crowd the line of scrimmage. Back to pass goes Brin. Has loads of time, throws to the left side, and it is caught at the 10 yard line by Johnson around the corner. Skips out of bounds at the 13, maybe the 14. So now it is third down and nine for the Golden Hurricane, trailing 31 to 20 with 13.52 to go in the game. Tulsa now on third downs is four of 12. They've missed fired on their last four. Out of the shotgun, Bryn, two to the right, two to the left. Here's the snap. Bryn drops back to pass, steps up, throws over the middle. Caught by Naylor on the run, 25-30 to the right numbers, to the 33-yard line. Deep. Second down and two in the handoff, Prince. Prince gets a good block ahead of him. He goes forward to the 50, to the 45, breaks a tackle, 40 to the 35, to the 30, and inside the 30-yard line, finally finished off by Matthew Hill. 11.02 to go in the football game. Tulsa just used their second time out here in the second half and Bryn out of the shotgun. Prince now is the single setback. Here's the snap and a fake handoff. Bryn hesitates, now throws toward the end zone and a lunging reception for a touchdown by Johnson. Touchdown Tulsa, 13 yards from Bryn to Johnson and the Golden Hurricane has made it 31-26. Out of the shotgun, McLean awaits the snap and fakes a handoff, throws quickly and it is caught at the 25 yard line by Weaver and Weaver and muscles his way to the 30, inside the numbers to the 33. So it is first down and 10 from their 33 yard line. In motion is Gregory. Out of the shotgun, the quarterback McLean has the snap and drops back to pass, rolling to the left, big rush on. He shucks one man, pump fakes, rolling, rolling, now flipping it out of bounds, incomplete. Tully now at second and 10 from their 33 yard line for the Bulls. McLean runs it on an option play left side and the late pitch goes to Mangum. Mangum breaking a tackle and then gets folded up at about the 40. Got forward to the 41 and now, uh, the quarterback goes in motion to the left side, and it's a wildcat play with Mangum, and Mangum gets gummed up. He took the snap, and I don't think he got the first down. He bashed off to the left, fourth and a yard and a half from the 42-yard line for USF. One receiver to the left, one receiver near side right, and out of the shotgun, McLean. McLean has the snap. He runs it off the left side. It's not McLean. It's Mangum. Mangum actually took the snap and took it directly off the left side. He gets stuffed. No gain. Tulsa has held, and the officials are looking at each other, looking where they want to spot it, but there's no it's doubt close. he didn't get it. Yeah, nowhere and close. And it is Tulsa ball at the 42. Out of the shotgun, Bryn has the snap, hands it off. Brooks cuts back near the end zone, and he is in for a touchdown. Davis Bryn scores for TU with 47 seconds to go in the game. And the Golden Hurricane has taken the lead, 32-31. And you presume a two-point conversion coming here for Tulsa. Out of the shotgun, Bryn. Four receivers to the right. Here's the snap. Bryn rolling out, throwing, batted in the air, and incomplete as he was throwing out to the right side, and it was knocked down on the play by Ryan Thax. Out of the shotgun. McLean awaits, has the snap, drops back to pass. Now the rush coming, a throw over the middle, over the head and off of the hands of the intended receiver, Horn, and Tulsa takes over. Bryn has the snap, jumps up, takes a knee, ball game. Tulsa for the second straight year has come to South Florida, and this time it was a close one. Last year was a blowout. The final score was 42-13. The final score today, the University of Tulsa 32, South Florida 31. What is True Blue? It's true loyalty. Supporting others with unwavering commitment. It's true innovation. Thinking, thinking creatively and strategically to make it. It's true strength. Taking risks and standing up for what's right. True Blue is a 120 year legacy. Find the true you at the University of 
the mission of St. Francis Health System to extend the presence, presence and ministry of Christ means not only being there for the health care needs of individuals, but also making a positive impact in the communities we serve, offering support through thousands of jobs and through causes that unite us and promote health and wellness for all. We show our gratitude for the opportunity to serve by living our mission every day. St. Francis Health System. Healthcare for life. Cheers to a big win when you play Oktoberfest of Cash at River Spirit Casino Resort. Get your fill of fun and overflowing cash giveaways. A total of $25,000 every Saturday. Earn entries daily and you could be one of nine to tap into the pinnings. Up to $10,000 each week. So raise your glass to the best fall ever and fill it with an Oktoberfest of Cash only at River Spirit Casino Resort. This one's for every sports fan who just spent the entire game explaining to someone the entire game. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. <laughs> Burgers. Better with Pepsi. Hurricane Rewind, a look back at the miracle on 11th Street with Jerry O. Here's TU Hall of Famer, Jerry Ostrowski. Years ago, this week, we played the Memphis State Tigers. Uh, now they're the University of Memphis, but back then they were Memphis State. And we played them in the uh, historic Liberty Bowl uh, down there in Memphis. Um, another game that we had never won in the state of Tennessee, I don't believe. We never beat Memphis at their place. Uh, so once again, we're back in another week where we're continually being told uh, what we haven't done. This was a game where I think our football team's personality was starting to come out, which was workmanlike. Uh, we were a very tough football team, tough-minded. Uh, we only had 166 yards rushing, but TJ turned around and had one of his biggest performances that year. He had 371 yards passing, uh, so we had, we had control of the game for the, for, for the most part. Uh, Memphis, I remember, scored a late touchdown. Uh, to kind of make it close, but, but again, um, a very, very physical offense, another great physical defensive performance by our guys. You know, this, you know, all our games during this season weren't like Texas a and I mean, they didn't have that amazing feel to them, but a lot of them were, were special because they were games that we needed to win to get where we wanted to go, and they were games we should win. And this Memphis game was another one of those tests. And uh, we went down to Memphis and uh, took care of business, came home with a W, and it was uh, time to get ready for the next week and another challenge. Hey, thanks, Jerry. Always a great time when you're able to go to Memphis and win, and that's what that 1991 team did. In a moment, we'll be back with more and get you set up for the off week or the bye week, if you will. And then, of course, Navy coming up in a couple of weeks. That's when the Philip Montgomery Show continues in a minute. This one's for every sports fan who just spent the entire game explaining to someone the entire game. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. What is true blue? It's true loyalty. Supporting others with unwavering commitment. It's true innovation. Thinking creative, creatively and strategically to make a difference. It's true strength, taking risks and standing up for what's right. True Blue is a 125 year legacy. Find the true you, true you at the University of Tulsa. The mission of St. Francis Health System to extend the presence and essence and ministry of Christ means not only being there for the health care needs of individuals, but also making a positive impact in the communities we serve, offering support through thousands of jobs and through causes that unite us and promote health and wellness for all. We show our gratitude for the opportunity to serve by living our mission every day. St. Francis Health System. Healthcare for life. 
Cheers to a big win when you play Oktoberfest of Cash at River Spirit Casino Resort. Get your fill of fun and overflowing cash giveaways. A total of $25,000 every Saturday. Earn entries daily and you could be one of nine to tap into the winnings. Up to $10,000 each week. So raise your glass to the best fall ever and fill it with an Oktoberfest of Cash only at River Spirit Casino Resort. Burgers, better with Pepsi. All right, thanks, Bruce. All right, so, Coach, 32-31, you yeah. get the win. Hey, wins what matters. That's all it's that all matters. matters. And now you've got a bye week here. Down the stretch, your team really ground, and there were times they could have not done that. What was the best thing going on right there? You know, more than anything, I, I was really encouraged just the way our guys stayed composed, stayed together, continue to just keep battling. We talk about it in our program all the time. It's been a signature of our program. We get 60 minutes to play and we're gonna play every second. I think today was really typical of that. You know, the big stop on fourth down by our defense and then for the offense to be able to take it and turn that into points right there and leave very little time left. I mean, it's exactly what you want to do. In a game that, where it wasn't easy, no. and you had to battle, and you had to scratch, and you're coming off the win, so you put one on top of the other. Winning a game like this on the road, what does it mean for a team? Well, hopefully it's going to mean a lot of momentum and a lot of belief in what you do and how you do it. You know, I think back to last year a little bit, you know, coming back from behind, kind of similar to what we did here at Central Florida. Right. You know, and, and that allowed us just to continue to keep growing every week, and it fuels, and, you know, like I said earlier, our motto has been putting good days on good days, good games on good games. You can learn from each and every one of those experiences, but that win, that momentum that you get from it and the belief you get when you come back like this, hopefully it opens some doors and propels us in a really positive direction. Off week before you go into Navy yep. the week after, good time for it? <laughs> I don't know that it could be a better time. I mean, it's, again, we are really, really beat up um, from top to bottom in all three phases. So hopefully to get an opportunity for some of our guys to heal up a little bit and uh, try to get a little bounce back in our legs it's 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 coming at a good time yeah it is and not only that you have to get ready for a navy team that does yeah. something no one else in the world does almost no one else in the world so it's not going to be an easy two weeks but at least you get to heal some people up we'll see you from that game afterward when navy visits tulsa in two weeks all right, guys, thanks a lot. Well, it is the off week, but it's never a week off for this football team. They'll be grinding and working hard, getting ready for that Navy game, and that isn't the next game. It's at home, Military Appreciation Night on a Friday night, and we hope to see you at H.A. Chapman Stadium. Get your tickets at 918-631-GO-TU or TulsaHurricane.com. For head coach Philip Montgomery and my broadcast partner Rick Corey, I'm Bruce Howard. So long for now. The Philip Montgomery Show has been brought to you by St. Francis Health System, by River Spirit Casino, and by Pepsi. Philip Montgomery Show has been a presentation of Golden Hurricane Sports Properties and a King Vision production.